Nick and I have a little debating to do. Uh, it's always great when he and I can disagree or be on other sides of the fence on a topic, and I think that we have found one uh, that is worth us discussing and debating and having you guys hear both sides. And um, I think I have a, a feeling where fans are, are going to lean towards, but uh, that is the topic of Thursday night spring games. Get rid of them. Keep them. Good thing. Bad thing. Nick kind of teased it a little bit in our rapid reaction. If you guys watch that, if you read his thoughts after the game on Gators Online, you know where he stands. Uh, but let's hear it from him. The floor is yours, Nick, and then I will respond. Um, I, I get, I get why you, you you've done it on Thursday. Um, last year I think there were sixteen other games, including South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia. Um, on the day that, and I that think that's Florida, the number this weekend. It's like fifteen it's, or something. I think like it's that. thirteen. I think it's thirteen this year. Um, okay. It's a lot of competition, uh, and I get your first year coach. Um, you don't have the same kind of relationships. You you don't have it. Um, you you need to do something to stand out. Uh, to me, I get it, and and, and I went to bat. I, I stood up for the Florida program. Uh, you know, tiny little Florida who needs. Uh, me to to fight their battles for them. <laughs> this year, I did I did it again. I said, hey, it's Thursday night. You've uh, you've given I told telling fans. I'm like, you've been given eight weeks to figure things out. Don't worry about it. Um, after watching, take some PTO. Th- yeah, after watching two Thursday games in a row, um, there were not forty two thousand people there last night. Um, if you flip the number, the first two numbers. Are around, you calling Rick a liar, Nick? If if you flip if you flip the first two Zach I have the floor please um, if you flip those first two numbers around I think maybe you had twenty four thousand um, so yes you you are getting recruits in the door Florida wanted to tout last night that they had three hundred recruits a lot of guys there maybe 13, 14, 15 that you're actually interested in um, so three hundred sounds cool they can push that out and. And, and the recruiting writers will say 300 pay- players at Florida spring game. Look how good they're doing. And Florida is doing recruiting well, but it's not like they have the top 300 kids in the country all of the game. Um, <laughs> also, the SEC network chose to put LSU Kentucky baseball on television. So you're not even getting a solo national stage. You're being streamed on a Thursday night in a less than half full stadium. Billy Napier is not like a showman. If he was a showman, first play of the game would have been like Aiden Mizell on a go route with a with a walk on covering him, eighty yard touchdown. Let's get people excited. There was no energy in the stadium last night, um, and and for the three hundred recruits you had, you had a thirty percent full stadium, which was quiet. Uh, that's not the environment you're trying to get to show people when you tell them ninety thousand. There's no place like running out in the swamp. Graham Mertz last year. I remember Graham uh, last year, Montreal Johnson was like, man, I can't believe how many people were at this game. I was like, bro, the place was empty. <laughs> and then he went out and, and played in front of 90,000. He was like, yeah, that was different. Graham Mertz last night was like, man, that was really cool. I'm like, what part of that was cool? You played in an empty cathedral. You could hear echoes and, and you could hear the calls. And it's, it's not, I'm not bagging on the fans that were there, but like, that's not, a, that to me was not a fun experience. And then when the game starts slowly, not only is the are, is the stadium empty, but now there's nothing for even the fans who are there who have taken the time off work to come to a game in the middle of a week. Um, there's nothing for them to cheer about. So to me, you're going into year three. You need to start competing with those teams. Compete with Georgia. Compete with South Carolina, Alabama, Ohio State. Compete with them. Get those guys. So now the guys that came to you that you wanted to to impress and show the spring game to, now they're going to Georgia on Saturday. And, and Georgia will have 70,000 people at Sanford Stadium. And, and now your environment looks terrible compared to theirs. So I, I stood behind Florida for two years <laughs> doing the game on a Thursday. Um, that experiment's over. You need to go back to Saturday, make it more about the fans, Um and, and show the recruits that you get there, show them a great environment. 
Um, show them a game day like environment. Um, if that, if what was Thursday night is a game day environment, then that means like Florida, Florida's having a bad season and people have given up. Um, and, and, and it's no shot at the fans, but the coaching staff and the recruiting staff need to start competing with those other teams um, on Saturday and, and having a more traditional spring game. The floor is yours, Zach. Man, that's hard to rebut. I think you might have talked me into it. <laughs> I mean, gosh. Like, it's not I, – I don't want – I'm not trying to bag on the fans at all because, like, the people that, that did get there last night, um, good for you. But it's like – that's not – there were not 40,000 people at the stadium last night. And Florida will say – I think I you know, I put out the, the, the thing and a couple of coaches have retweeted it and they're like, thanks, best I, fans in the country. It's like, yeah, but th- there were not 40,000, not anywhere I, close. I think the point that you make about you're, 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 you're losing crowd by making it – by having it on a Thursday and then – that impression that you give recruits of your spring game, which is even if it's 40,000, which it wasn't, um, but you still give them the opportunity to then go somewhere else on a, on a Saturday. And if they go to one of the bigger programs that is going to have that turnout, especially because it's on a Saturday and they see a stadium with 70, 80,000 people, um, not only did you give them the opportunity to go to that game instead of making them choose, but they went to go see a better environment there than than what they saw in the swamp. If, so, if I'm the number one offensive lineman, defensive lineman, and I go to Florida's game on Thursday, I'm probably walking out being like, damn, that's cool because I'm in high school. I don't have 20,000 people at game. So 20,000 looks big to me. And then I go – and Alabama wants me to go there. And Alabama's spring game has 90,000 people there. I'm looking around and go, man, they, they don't care at Florida. That's that that would be my impression as a 16, 17 year old kid. Not not not, two not on two days. They won't think, oh, well, they didn't have as many people show up because they did it Thursday. No, gonna, my my a 16, 17 year old kid is going, okay, it's different here at Alabama. And, and that's what Florida's trying to create. But but if you go if I'm if I'm a six year old kid, what would the crowd and, have been if they did it this Saturday? In, in, uh, ah, you think? And maybe a legitimate forty two. Do you think it would have been more? There would have been more if there if if Florida played tomorrow instead of yesterday. If they played Saturday instead of Thursday, there would be more people in the stands than there were Thursday night. Unequivocally, that's a fact. This wasn't a holiday weekend. Like people didn't have Friday off. They don't have mm-hmm. Monday off. Um, if you if you're gonna do it on a week and you want to have your own day, do it on a Friday. See, that's of, of a the, holiday weekend where you can make a four day weekend out of it. There, there was no, there's nothing, there's what's, there's no holiday on on Monday or Friday. You're asking people to take off work Thursday and Friday to come watch a practice. I think the one concession that they can make is moving it to Friday. At the very least. You're asking people to come on a day where if they stay, they don't have to work the next day if they're going to make a weekend out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, You still, I guess, give a window for recruits to still go to two games, spring game-wise. But also, you know, I still think if you did it on Friday, you might have to make some guys make a decision uh, uh, versus where they're going to go on Friday uh, and, and Saturday. Just to play devil's advocate, though, one thing I do think that is, you know, what they lose in the spring game crowd and what type of bad impression that could make, they can make up for it by getting the guys there in the fall for a game in the swamp against LSU, FSU, or just one that you know is going to be packed. Like that, that can nullify that. Um now, if you don't get a chance to get those guys back on campus and that's the only impression that you get to make, maybe it has an effect. But at the end of the day, how much do crowd sizes impact the kid's decision? Um, you know, I, I don't think that it, that I, it does. I, 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 I also think to your point, too, about like, hey, being a first year staff and not having relationships with the the high school coaches, not having relationships with the kids in the immediate classes like. You need to do everything that you can to create opportunities to get them on campus so you can forge those relationships. Yeah. 
But once you get established, that's not as necessary to do. And that's that's a good point as well. So you yeah. What happened to the debate? I mean, dude, I, I, think, I think you changed What happened to the debate, Zach? Think, we were supposed to debate. You should have gone just, first. You should have gone first. I was, it was like, uh, you were like, you were like Eminem and 8 Mile, and then you just handed mm. me the mic, and I was Papa Doc. Oh, <laughs> no. I had nothing oh, to say. No. At least I didn't choke. No. <laughs> At least I didn't choke. I came back with something, but it wasn't, I didn't have the bars that you had. Yeah. Uh, Listen, I, and, um, I, I don't know that floor is going to change. I I, I I might just be screaming. Now, that was my into, stance last night. I was like, I, I don't think they're going to change it. I, I don't think they're going to. I might be screaming into the void. Um, And, and I, recruiting, a lot of fans will tell you, I don't care about the fan experience. Get me five stars. I agree with that. Like, play the game on a Monday morning at 9 a.m. If you're going to get, you know, four or five stars to commit to you. I just think that, you're missing an opportunity. And when you're the product on the field was not good last year. And, and when I look at this year and I look ahead, I'm like, Florida might be a six win team again. And you need to start doing things. Well, one, you need to make the football team better. And I think recruiting is going really well. And and, and right now we will get into that later, but um, you need to start, stop alienating your fan base, especially when your team isn't going to be good and your team is going to struggle don't make it harder for your fans uh, to go and see you, to go and watch the game. So um, to me, it's, it's, I've, I've gone to bat for Florida two years in a row. I will not go to bat for Florida. If, if we're talking about a Thursday night, 2024 spring game, I'm back on the fan side who, who would like it to be on Saturday or Friday. Uh, and, and uh, I'm glad that you've also come over to the dark side with me here, Zach. I have Nick. I I think that you that you won me over, and um, I I don't know if anything's going to change though. Um, but we'll find out next year. 